all right welcome back to beginning beekeeping in texas uh just take a second just give me a like and subscribe if you can I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers really help me out so here we are with uh swarm i caught uh robin's backyard i call it robin swarm so i did pop a feeder on here let's see what they're doing they had two frames of honey so they are getting it that's good to see feeders before but so they just kind of go down there and lap up the water the sugar water and store it make sure we got everything kind of lined up here all right so I mainly just wanted to make sure that they were doing okay with this feeder I thought they would have more done, but evidently not. Hmm. And that's, almost, that's pretty much as much as I gave them. So I'm not sure if they like, I mean, I put it here three days ago. So I should have definitely found it by now. I think they're just going slow because they still have a couple frames of honey in there. take this off see what they're doing no well, they didn't even really do anything with the pollen patties I left them these girls are confusing they are still very gentle they're curious but you know who wouldn't be Some giant thing enters your hive, you're going to be curious. So this is the eight frame equipment that I had laying around. Um, so I just use this for now. You know, worse comes to worse. If I get tired of using eight frame, I can always move over to 10 and see how just relaxed they are very relaxed oh just no big deal hey whatever man you want to come check us out cool this is when you really try not to crush anybody because that alarm pheromone will signal and they will not be happy so it looks like they're starting to get the pollen patty now. I might pull the feeder and see what they do. I've got cat cells, so that's good. Got a waggle dance going on. They're festooning a little bit, which means they're building comb, but not a whole lot. They have built some comb. Let's see if we can get this waggle dance on camera. You see her right here? She's waggling. She's showing the other bees where she found her food. She's trying to find an audience, but now that she's on camera, she's shy, see? Let's bring this back over here so it's a little more secure. They have secured it to the side. 
which is good. There's a lot of new comb here. Also good. We're starting to fill out the frame. We kind of wish they didn't. Wish they connected these. Well, maybe we can give them some uh, gentle architectural suggestions. What do you say? Do you want to have your back to the frame when you look at it? And you can't see anything, and there is the queen. See her right there? That's the queen. And they are kind of backfilling, so I might have to pull that because see, here's all this new, brand new white comb. Remember, I said new comb is always bright white, and that's what I was talking about. See how white it is. So she's already laid in there. of not sure on what to do that is not a bee that is a giant something huge kind of riling the bees up let's see what else they're doing with this uh, with this sugar uh, syrup that I put in here let's see what we got oh this is heavier so it kind of looks like they're filling this up with sugar syrup a little bit what is that whatever that is seems to be riling them up probably a hornet queen so she's laying in there, so she's looking for places to lay. We probably should just pull this sugar syrup. I don't want them to backfill so much that she has nowhere to lay, and then they go, oh, well, you're not a very good queen. We're gonna replace you, which they will. Okay, so this is pollen. Too bad I didn't bring. Well, let's uh, do a little experiment. You know how much I love to do that. If you don't, you will. So here's what I love to do. I love. Since these two frames are drawn and they're all on there, we're gonna take this and put this right there. Okay. And put this over here. They have a little more reason to be on this other frame. Actually, that's the pollen frame, so we might leave that over there for a little bit. At least a little bit of it over there. If it falls to the bottom, it's no big deal. They'll collect it. They are extremely good at collecting things. It's kind of their deal. Sorry, little girl. Get your stinger out of there. I accidentally squished one of them but she's okay so let's move this one in also here's what we'll do 
since this frame was completely full and the other frame isn't drawn maybe if we put this one come on little girl you gotta move over here there now we have two drawn frames Kind of checkerboard them a little bit. I, I know they don't have very many uh, bees. This is the swarm that I caught. It's pretty small, but they're doing okay. I mean, they're not. If I really wanted to help them out, I would go get. A frame of cat brood from my other hives and stick them in here but we'll see what they do first I'm curious while we have this may as well not waste it we put some sugar syrup on the frame it kind of encourages them to Go forth and fill it out. Then the bees are on the frame. Okay, do that. See who's thirsty. Anybody thirsty? Probably not. Well, it's going to be a big mess. Hopefully I have a bottle of water in the car. So they are kind of attacking the pollen patty. Maybe it was just covered by the feeder. Probably put the feeder back on just could I like to contradict myself and see what they'll do with it. Kind of thing. Oh, oh you're full. You're full of nectar. Food. There you go. Well, don't go there. You're going to get dead. Go there. That's good. That's rich. Okay, you gotta move, little girl. Sorry. I don't want to crush anybody here. But as you can see, anytime you make a move, do something, a lot of times there's somebody right there. Just waiting for you to. Lay a thing on, lay a, a hive body on them and crush them. Okay, we don't want anybody in here. Come on, you're already full. All right, well, this makes for excellent uh, film, I know. So, alright, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, see you later.